What's up, y'all? <clears throat> it is February 18th, 2019. And you guys, like I always say, I always peruse the internet re regarding the Dallas Cowboys. You know I'm a cow I'm a huge Cowboy fan. Y'all know that. I, I shouldn't be saying that shit. I'm a huge Cowboy fan. I'm always looking through the internet for news and shit like that. See what some new rumors that's cropping up. <clears throat> And I ran across this blog site called Behind the Steel Curtain. Obviously, when you think of Steel Curtain, you think of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So, I'm, you know, I'm like, uh, hmm, what's going on here? <clears throat> and the title of the blog is Antonio Brown's Dream Destination, The Dallas Cowboys? Now, y'all... You know, I, I'm i not a fan of Antonio. I, I, I think Antonio Brown is one of the greatest receivers in NFL history. That's my honest opinion. Um, of course, I think Jerry Rice is the best, you know, of all time. But Antonio Brown, he's he's one of the greatest. He's one of the greatest. And um, But I wouldn't want him on this team at all. No, I feel like he's a locker room cancer. I feel like he'll take reps away from Amari Cooper. And the thing is, like, we would have so much money invested in one position, the wide receiver position. It just doesn't make sense. Um, I'm not a fan of this shit, and I hope Jerry Jones doesn't even, like, <laughs> even dare to even think of doing some shit like this. But uh, this uh, Steelers fan is talking about straight up trading Antonio Brown for Leighton Van Der Esch. I'm telling you guys, Leighton Van Der Esch, he, he's garnered so much attention over his play, pushing Sean Lee out the door. Like, if you can do that, Sean Lee is 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 a, a damn is a damn good linebacker. Pro Bowl, all pro type linebacker when he's healthy. And if he if Leighton Van Der Esch can put push that guy out the door, you know you got something here. And everybody's noticing it. This person Whoever this is that's wrote, that wrote this blog is suggesting that we straight up trade Leighton Van Der Esch for Antonio Brown. Now, that is utterly ridiculous. We would lose that trade. like That, that would be a loss because Leighton Van Der Esch is on a rookie deal. This is his second year. In the, he's going to be uh, get on to his second year, second season in the NFL. He's super young. And the thing is, you don't really see linebackers like this. He's 6'4", 250-something pounds, is extremely athletic, extremely long. He can match up with tight ends. Like, there aren't many linebackers in this league that can match up with tight ends. Like, like frame and speed, it, you don't have that many. Usually you have to put a damn safety or uh, another DB on a uh, damn tight end on, uh, in this game in this day and age, and he can match up with them. So we would lose that trade. We would lose the age trade, uh, the the age uh, trade. We would lose that in age because Antonio Brown is thirty. Lane Van Der Esch is what twenty one, twenty two. Okay, then we would lose a, uh, an impressive defensive piece. You know, I feel like we have enough talent on the offensive side of the ball to to take us to at least an NFC Championship game. We were right there. Uh, if we take away Leighton Van Der Esch, like, you can kiss our, like, <laughs> uh, conference championship Super Bowl aspirations goodbye. Because when you don't have a linebacker that can command the middle of the field like Sean Lee or Leighton Van Der Esch, our defense, it, it just – do y'all remember the agonizing, like, games where we would see Sean Lee is out with another goddamn injury and, like, the opposing offense would just run roughshod over us? Expect those times to happen again if we ever got this dumb notion that we should trade Leighton Van Der Esch for Antonio Brown. And this uh, this blog site, it does, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. Antonio Brown with the bright lights of Jerry World, you know, with like the most outspoken owner with the star on his helmet. It's almost as if it's a match made in heaven. But I'm telling you, it wouldn't bring any good to this team. It wouldn't. It will put so much pressure on Dak Prescott as well. Dak Prescott already has to deal with being the the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. If you bring Antonio Brown into the situation, have you seen the way he acts when he doesn't get the ball or isn't the focal point of the offense? Have you seen that? 
throwing footballs and shit at Big Ben and throwing tantrums and shit. No, I think Antonio Brown should go to the San Francisco 49ers. I think that's the best spot for him. He has no place, in my opinion, he has no place in, in, in the Dallas Cowboys' future. He should not be here. I don't want him. Um, you know, it's just, it's amazing that this article is posing this notion. You know, it's it's actually amazing, but I no, hell no. I would, I'm not a fan of that shit. Not, no, hell fucking no. Antonio Brown in a Dallas Cowboy uniform? Man, talk about fireworks. Whew.